I am the Reaper. Yeah, so far we've jumped off of a cargo container and actually made it outside and then... How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Let's see what other trouble we can get into. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. I'll do it. Yet there was not a single person here either. Don't get Feeling fired. A wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Business strategy? Is that a panda? That is a panda, isn't it? <laughs> Elevator music. Oh my gosh. Dude went quiet, he hasn't said anything yet. Copyright infringement. No. No. Stop. No, it didn't help. Stop. Stop. I don't know, how freaking tall is this building? I went upstairs to get here, and I'm still going up. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. No! No! <laughs> what the fuck? Turn it off! Oh my god. Let me out. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. What a dick. Loading screen. What a dick. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. 
Violent death? Why is it gonna be violent death? Why can't it just be a death? Or the door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Just fall out of the top of the building or something, it'd be awesome. Whee! Splat. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley <laughs> was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh! What? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Ah, turn them all off. Oh, it's a wall. Ah, stuck on that. So what, technically this is the end, but I know there's one more. At least. One more. Oh, freedom ending, hang on, what'd that say? <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Turn the light on. You can oh. still save these two. 
You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose. Ow. Okay. Do I have to re quit the new <laughs> Really? Damn it. Okay, there we go. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley? Its <laughs> grace, such... its subtle charm. No. Stanley knew it was something deeper. He's something such a dick. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope, Stanley did not. Stanley went right through the street. Stanley was so bad at following door and directions, the it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Oh. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Oh. I realize that investing oh. your trust in someone else can be difficult, oh. but the There's, fact is that I the think story I over there. has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Ah! What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? <laughs> Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Danger everywhere. I'm gonna die. I am so gonna die. No? Now listen carefully, this is important. Oh god. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> uh, I'm going through the blue one, definitely. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> I still don't think we're communicating properly. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, the blue door. door's over here! The blue door's over here! All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, <laughs> Stanley. Take it for a spin. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. 
Clearly there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rolling. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Now, would you say that oh. competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. I didn't see a competitive leaderboard, so no. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. <laughs> this is so screwed up. Oh, In this shit. Game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <laughs> okay, let's watch. Barbecue, come on. You heartless bastard. <laughs> you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me. Because of the ladder, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Oh, thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> what the hell just... What was that all about? You... Oh! Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> <laughs> this will go here, no, here, and then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off... Yes, it's complete. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. No. I don't wanna. <laughs> I can't. The door won't. Uh. Uh. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if. Wait. That's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. This is insane. Oh my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? A light? What the hell? That is something bad there, it looks like. Or is it just dirt? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds <laughs> couldn't save this one. 
Okay, new game. Oh, what the? F <laughs> what is going on? This dude's nuts. I feel bad that I took that door now. Oh, oh. Oh, I... Yep, portal. Yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Yeah, we're going to cut there. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Hide us from the face of him that sit on the throne, for the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand?